Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of the Lies of P. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to continue our adventure through the city of Krat. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I didn't do anything. But I did make a couple other characters that are behind my character now. And we're going to go back today and grab something that I missed. That I didn't realize that I missed. So let's go ahead and do that now. We missed, where is it? Is it, I think it's over. Hmm. Let's start at St. Frangelico Cathedral Chapel. Okay, from here, I'm going to backtrack. Apparently, whenever we pushed one of the braziers down to get rid of all the poison, or the corrosion, whatever it's called, I missed a spot we could go down into. Right here. I'm kind of glad that I did uh, make some new characters. I made a dex build and a strength build. Dex, I would have to say, is a harder build in the lies of P. You have to be really skilled with the game if you're going to play a dex build. So we get the crafted cipher vessel. Now we can head back to um, Hotel Crot. Also off screen, I did listen to the second record we got and it did affect uh, Pinocchio. Let's go ahead and talk to Vanini. I've been investigating the puppet frenzy and it looks like I need your help. First, let me show you a little something I've been working on. I call it the Ergo Wavelength Decoder. Mm, the name lacks a certain flair, but... I assure you, it works. If my suspicions are correct, something in the puppet's very ergo is causing their aggression. My decoder can find malicious signals within the waves, but I cannot possibly get close enough to gather the ergo wave records myself. You, on the other hand, would you? Could you? I... <laughs> I refuse to believe the King of Puppets is truly behind this... this puppet rampage. It's too simple, but also a bit too much even for him. No. I suspect the Ergo itself is corrupted, or at least compromised. I do so desperately want to find the cause, as I'm sure you do too, my friend. It breaks my heart to see puppets turned into murderous tools of bloodshed. Hmm, isn't this uh, a cryptic vessel? 
Well, I would expect nothing less from you. What I mean, of course, is that this is a humble invention of mine. A cipher device. Once your information is locked in here, only you can get it out. <laughs> of course, once people realize the value of a truly unbreakable way to keep secrets, knockoffs flood the market. The trials and travails of true genius. Forever copied, never credited. But, I admit, even some of these knockoffs could still hold secrets. You're welcome to take a crack at, uh, well, cracking it. Who knows? It could lead you to something truly valuable. Or at least more practical. May I be of assistance? I can decipher this in moments, if you'd allow me. I admit I'm a bit rusty, but it's all starting to come back to me. Genius never sleeps and never truly abandons the truly brilliant. What? No, of course I didn't read the contents. Who has time to read anymore? <laughs> but uh, I could help you read it if you want to. So right here, um, we got to go get a puppet or not go get a puppet. We have to hit a puppet. It's the puppet over in Elysian Boulevard. It's pretty obvious where it's at. It's where we fought the uh, mad donkey. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. That way everybody can read. Come over here. I don't want to craft. I want to modify. I don't have any Legion calipers. Damn. Oh, I do. I do have one. Then why does it say that it... Oh. Man, I'll tell you what. I don't pay attention. Okay, this is, well, I mean, I, I do have other ones. Oh, that's cool. Oh, now that is, that is badass. I kind of want to fuck with this a, a little bit too. So let's do this. And then I think I'm also going to work on this one too. Eventually. But I want to try this um, Legion arm out. We can't talk any further to him, can we? I always welcome friends. May I be of service? No. Nope. You? At the house of Vanini, even priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. Oh yeah, we got the smiling bunny mark. I forgot about that. Oh dear. This is the mark of the Black Rabbit Brotherhood, a notorious band of stalkers. The stalkers as a unified force ceased to be after their defeat at the Battle of the Workshop Tower. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood took over the Marlon District after that. I believe you could use this mark to move safely whilst on the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's turf to use their unsophisticated vernacular and give you entree to the black market as well. But be careful, sir. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood is quite infamous for how they treat interlopers. If they catch you, they'll put you in the liar's coffin. Yes, I believe it is as unpleasant as it sounds. Ah, 
and I see we have new physical records to catalogue for the collection. Such effort deserves commensurate reward, don't you think? At the house of Anini... Um... Can we level up our weapon again? No, we need two more crescent moons before we can level our uh, weapon up again. We do have quartz, but we need two more quartz to mess with our pea organ. Oh, I did level up. I'm sorry. I did do some stuff off uh, screen. I did level up. So we have 19 across the board. I'm thinking about bringing advance up to 10 and then um, continuing on to level uh, all the other stuff. And we're going to come over here. Oh, it's you. This hotel is indeed a refuge from the dangers of the outside world. I am the Hound, a descendant of the city's most aristocratic families. Repaying debts is what we nobles do. Anyone with a worthy spirit is especially welcome. Accordingly, I shall give you the honor of laying eyes upon my treasure. However, you must prove your worthiness. For this legendary treasure, mm, the ergo of a powerful enemy shall suffice. It's up to you if you want to make the exchange. Take your time to admire it. I've certainly done likewise. So, on my other... Um, well, I, because I have two others, uh, on my strength build, I've been doing, like, a bunch of, like, alternate ways of doing things. Like, whatever I did on this playthrough, I'm doing the opposite of. And this guy gets really, really pissed off at you if you tell him, um, to go anywhere else besides here. And, uh, Eugenie gets pretty... Um, happy that he comes over here as well, so. Let's talk to Geppetto. A victim of the petrification disease turned into a monster. That's just tragic. Could the disease lead to puppet frenzy? Hmm. No, that doesn't make sense. Remember, puppets cannot get the disease. But puppets shouldn't frenzy either. I made them to obey and protect humans. Not go berserk and harm them. But the stalkers blame me. They think I worked with the alchemists to spread the disease to puppets. <sighs> How sad. All this resentment. With a lie at the root of it. That's why... My only wish... Is that you stay a good boy. No resentment. No lies. The city of Crask me. Also, I realize the cat is in here sometimes. I should have checked uh, last time if it was over here. And sometimes the cat is up here. Oh, it jumped off somewhere. Oh, that's interesting. Where the hell did it go? Now I'm curious about that.
Okay, we're gonna search for the cat just for a little bit. Not as long as I did the last time. We're just gonna do a quick sweep around here. Because it ran off. I don't see where it would have went. Okay. Let's go over to the moonlit village. Or moonlit town. Moonlight town. My bad. Turn on our lantern. Awesome, some thermite. That might come in handy. So over here, we're going to have to fight that stalker that we said that we were a stalker to. She's not too happy with us. Poor lady. She wasn't bad. She just didn't like that we lied to her. That we were a stalker. Um, one other thing. That I wanted to talk about. But I don't remember. Oh, that's right. Let's go back to the last uh, stargazer that we rested at. We're going to go to the chapel of St. Frangelico.
So back over here where this uh, statue was. And I was like, oh man, we can pray here. You can. If you use the pray emote over at this statue, it will affect Pinocchio. So you just backtrack over here. Pray at this uh, statue and then um, it'll say something changed inside you. And then now let's go ahead and go find the um, the treasure, which I already know where it's at because on my other character, I went and found it. I ended up finding that encoded message and all of that. So it won't be hard to find. We're going to go back to the Hotel Stargazer and then uh, we'll fast travel from there. We're going to come over to uh, inside the house of Elysian Boulevard. Come down here. While this is going down, we'll put on those cogs. Then right up here, hit that with a cog, this falls down, and now we can see where we need to take this key. And I ran all over Elysian Boulevard to find this damn apartment, and it was so close to where I started searching. I think I ran by this doorway like 30 times. I don't know, way too many times I ran uh, past this doorway. But it's so easy. You just come back over to the stargazer where we started. Come right out here. Which I want to try this out. How does it work? Oh, okay. That doesn't seem like it's doing much. Well, here's the house. This is 21, uh, yeah, 221B. I thought this arm was going to be uh, going like a little bit further, but I guess not. Let's go ahead and open this up. We get the Owl Doctor's hunter, hunting apparel, and we get a quartz. So now we can go back to Hotel Crot, level ourselves up with our Pete organ. We're going to go up to the top, go over by where Geppetto is. Oh, hey, kitty cat. Hopefully he's getting a little nicer to us. Maybe if we continue to try to pet him. So 
So I already know which one I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose this one first. And then I like this one. I was uh, reading on this one. Also, make sure you get increased er ergo, not ergo, ergo upon eliminating an enemy. That is very useful. But also lower ergo uh, loss upon death. Yes, please. And then the next one I'm going to get is right over here. The increased pulse cells. Uh number two so we'll, we'll have six instead of five i'm just gonna keep going like this if i find anything with dodge we're gonna use that okay now let's actually continue forward let's make some progress today even if it's just a little bit We're going to go to the Path of the Pilgrim. Come over to the elevator. Okay, down here. That big thing burst out. And if I can, I would really, really like to catch it on fire. We'll see how many times it kills us. Hopefully not too many times. Oh, that was awesome. That couldn't have went any better. Sharp pipe. We'll heal ourselves. Why not? Hear them. I don't see them. Oh, there's one up there, too. I see him. Yep, drop down, bud.
Top down right here. Just don't want something attacking me while I'm trying to come down here. Oh, that looks like it's going to break. Just jump across. And then we're going to jump across again. I don't trust uh, I don't trust uh, wooden platforms or bridges at this point in this game. Oh, that doesn't look good. Um, let's go back to the stargazer and come over here when we have some thermite and stuff. We're gonna fast travel back to the stargazer. One thermite? Oh, man. I was hoping we had more than that. It's alright. At least we have um, our grinder replenished that gives us fire. I seen that big dude and I'm like, nah, that, that's, that's probably going to want some fire element. Hopefully that one dude isn't back. If it is, we're going to run right by him. And that would have been a waste of thermite too then. Which sucks, but whatever. You live and you learn, right? Okay, he's not back, which is good. <laughs> Take care of these hooligans. out of this corner I don't like being in this corner oh that was easier than I thought that was scary where did that guy go I bet we're gonna have to fight him soon They're talking about the uh, fox and the black cat. I'll have to read that off screen. Now, here's a safety reminder for all the malcontents of the Marlin district. A nasty puppet has invaded our territory. Be careful. <laughs> Where did he go? I bet we have to fight him up top here. I 
Is there no way to get up there? Huh. Guess not. Maybe we just have to go down? There's an item over there. Almost missed it. I was about to roll off. And I hate platforming. In games like this, I don't hate platformers. But in games like this, I hate platforming. Right here. Oh, I thought I wasn't going to make that. Oh, it wouldn't have been that far anyways. Never mind. Ooh, we got a stargazer. Oh, looky, looky. It is uh, the fox and the black cat. We'll talk to them when we come back. Uh, for now, I think what we're going to do is end the video right about here. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.